my new shades on. Got my bun on. New jacket. New chin shirt. Leggings. And black gym shoes. I was talking to the camera, but it wasn't even recording. <laughs> but good morning. Okay. Ugh. I was thinking about doing like a little intro like everybody else be doing. Like Leah should do a good morning, me, me. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to be something cute. Like, hey, best friend. Yes. Uh, hey, best. Ah! Hey, best friend. Best friends or best friend. Because it's like when you watch it, you watch it by yourself. So it could be like a one-on-one -on -one thing. So, hey, best friend. Yeah. Because y'all not going to watch it in group. My blunt feel like it's about to fall off. And I'm going to be so pissed if it do. Like. This is the look today. I'm giving a look. I want to show y'all my lashes, but I'm not until I get my eyebrows done. Oh, don't look. So I got my bun to sit right on my head, which is amazing. It took me five years last night to get this, this bun right. But I'm about to run my little errands since I don't have class today. I need to, I'm out early, like it's 11 o'clock. I'm never out to bed this early when I don't have nothing to do. But I need to get in and get out because I got to study for this physics test on Thursday. It's, I got two days to study. I had three, but I took yesterday off. I was like, no. Nah. And I have a test tomorrow in my botany class, which I'm not stressing over, but it's like, ugh, let me just go ahead and study for this man. Cause... But, oh, errands. I need to go to Walmart, as always, and get this little, um, you know what I'm going to do? I want to go to um, Whole Foods and see what their selection of gardening products is. Because I know they have a lot of, like, a big selection. To go to Victoria's Secret and get my spray, my Love Spell spray, the Thought Spray. And I need to get my eyebrows done and my nails and toes done. I'm going to get a Manny Petty. This place in Newport News has this Manny Petty for $25 deal. So, I'm in it. We there. You hear me? Okay, so I decided to go to, um, Target instead of Walmart. I'm in this transitional phase in my life where... Either you here or you not, and either you benefit me or you not, and you can't stay. And I feel like it comes off as me being phony when all in all it's me being real. Like, if I'm avoiding you, it's for a reason. Like, I can't be around fake people, and I don't know how to talk to folks yet. Like, I'm a, I talk rough because I don't know if it's from where I'm from. Like, I'm from the Midwest. I'm from originally I'm from Chicago, but I would just claim Lansing, Illinois, because I'm a suburban child. But it's like where I'm from, we talk the way we talk, we blunt, we honest, either you, it is or it ain't, either you accept it or you don't, like, it, girl, okay, but I'm learning that everybody not like me, and I can't say what I want to say to everybody the way I want to say it, so I just be like, let me just take two steps back, yeah, I've been learning that everybody not your friend, and if a person talk about their friends to you, that they gonna talk about you to their friends, it, anyway, but I'm going through that same situation now where it's like either I hang around somebody fake or I don't have no friends. And at this point, it's just like I can't have friends because I have, I'm a funny, I'm a funny acting person. I'm very picky and particular about who I hang out with and I always have and I always will be. It has kept me out of mess. And I feel like if I see somebody being messy and talk about their friends, then they're going to do it to me. And I ain't got time to be upset and angry, had a type of vibes and issues in my life either you gonna be real and be loyal to everybody in your life or you're not gonna be my friend either way but anyways back to back to the moral of the story y'all done ran over there hey y'all but back to the moral of the story i feel like if you gonna call somebody your friend be their friend like don't go and tell their business and then go hang out with them when I'm not, when I was busy, because I was working and in school and doing this, that, and the third, and I noticed that she started to drift away from me. But it's like, okay, that's cool. I'm busy. You want to be up under somebody all the time, but don't go be up under the person you was dogging, talking mess about. You get what I'm saying? Because that made me, that makes me look at you funny. Like, are you talking about me to your littles and to this person and that person? And when she get around certain people, she treat me a certain type of way. And when I say certain things, she say, what you say? Because you know I got a funny accent. It's like, okay, so what you say? What, what, wait, what, how you say that? You get what I'm saying? It's just like, I hate fake folks and I'm not about to sit up and funny kick it with nobody. It is what it is. I don't know what to say. Like, I feel like I'm pissed because I hate change. And I hate when people come in and out of my life. But at the end of the day, I need to have, my sanity is more important because I'm trying to graduate. Like, I gotta go. Either you're here or you're not. Like, I'm leaving. I didn't even show y'all what I was, the section I went in. Because, girl, I'm trying to get in and out. But I just got some vegan food. Let me show y'all when I get to the car. Hey, y'all. So, I got my eyebrows done, if you can see got my life together 
and I'm about to get my nails done. I need it. I'm gonna go to uh, Riley's real quick and get me some fries because I'm just so hungry. Like I cannot make, it. I can't. I gotta. I woke up with a headache because this bun was so tight. But I'm trying to put my the nail place location in my GPS because I'm low key nervous. Like I hate starting over at a new nail shop because it's like you gotta get to know your new nail tech from like scratch, basically. One moment. Okay. Choosing Riley's. My name is Ernest. Would you like to try a big beef for the combo today? Oh no, thank you. Um, can I just have a medium fry with a small? Oh shoot, I'm sorry. A small high seafood punch. Okay, no problem. What else can I get for you? That's it. Four eighty-six at the one. I'd like to serve you. Thank you. Thank there you go. Thank you. Enjoy. No problem. Right. Have a good one. The last time I ate meat. It was the last time I got my nails done, which was like the seventh. So I'm doing pretty good. I'm enjoying. I noticed my skin been breaking out. I guess I'm detoxing. I've been enjoying the no meat thing. Like when I think about meat now, it's just like, ugh. like I was thinking about making some pot roast in my little pressure cooker or my little crock pot, and it was just, I just got nauseous thinking about it. I was like, oh no, meat is over for me at this point. So now I eat like little veggies and rice and stuff. And vegan meat. I forgot to show y'all the vegan meat, but I'll show y'all when I get settled. And I got my toes done. Cute blue color. I was like, let me just switch it up and do something new. Girl, it's fall, but I don't care. Girl, I'm doing what I want to do. So, I'm finally leaving the nail shop. The girl was nice that did my toes. I was a little eerie at first. I was like, do she got an attitude? But she ain't had no attitude. She was nice. I didn't get gel nails. So, I was like, let me just go and test them out before I start spending buku money on, on them. And I don't even know how they act, you know? But I'm about to, um, oh, I got a mani pedi for $25 because on Tuesday they do the special with the mani pedi $25 and they do 15% off for teachers and students on Wednesdays. I'm about to go back to my room and eat because I'm starving. Some french fries did not help me and people are starting to roll in here. I got it here at a good time. I really switched it up. I've never done blue nails before. I wanted to show y'all this food that I got because I told y'all I would. I didn't get my favorite today, which is the garden meatballs, but I got this. This tastes just like ground beef. It's scary. <coughs> like the texture and everything. And I decided to try something new. I got the crispy mandarin orange. I'm going to make this with some broccoli and some jasmine rice, like some orange chicken type. And I always, this is so bomb, y'all. Bomb. And um, I tried the meatloaf, the Gardein meatloaf, and that was disgusting. It was, girl, it had my, girl, told my stomach, ugh. Mm-mm. My room is a hot mess. And I got a boo-boo. Lady that cleans up is in there, and I don't want to be rude right now. So I'm just trying to suck it in. Whew. This boy just asked me, what's your Fenty number like the for the foundation what's your Fenty number baby I don't know why cats on my some yes edges on my snap follow me on snap y'all <sighs> my edges you know I tried to get on together today I <sighs> anywho I wanted to show y'all <gasps> okay <laughs> I wanted to show y'all my food so it was the broccoli the rice and then the vegan chicken down there and it's so good doesn't this just look so cute and yummy like look at that I'm just so cute so two of them were made in the microwave the broccoli and the rice and they taste so good the rice is just so soft it's like you basically cooked it on the stove What you doing? You say what? Sorry, I'm about to go pick my phone up. Oh. Are you driving now? Ah. You drive now? <laughs> Wait. Uh, I couldn't read the number on the flyer, but probably eight or nine. Because he just kept talking shit. I was like, yo, what? Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey, hey.
Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Fine, how are you? I'm good, I'm just hella tired. Hey, <laughs> what, what, what they say? They say you need everything. <laughs> Leo. So what y'all about to do? We about to do some business moves real quick. Mm, well, text me. Right. You look nice today. Thank you. Oh, she got the fur on. Mom, she was looking at that Gucci wedding. Got, got tucked up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right, bye. <sighs> so we not, me and him not going to the little thing together. Because he got his little friend with him. His friend drunk. I ain't got time for no mess. Either it's me and you or it's nobody. Because I don't hang out with Joe. I don't hang with my bae's friends. No. We just keep it cute and keep it separate. Because, okay. Your friends is your friends. My friends is my friends. The outfit of the day is a hot mess. Because the only the, my top half look good. So that's all y'all going to see. I really just got on some jeans and some harachis. I look a mess. Whew. Especially being that it's homecoming. Okay, you have to be cute every day. But I can't be cute every day. Because I had... I have three tests this week. I had three tests this week. I had one on Monday. I have no. I had a quiz on Monday. I have a test tomorrow, and I I have two tests tomorrow. I have a quiz on Monday and two tests tomorrow. Um. So yeah, I was in the books all week. It was not cute at all. I don't know why my teachers did this to me. Decided that they wanted to hope to have tests and quizzes during homecoming week. They just don't care. And my bun leaning. Look at my boy. Why is my boy leaning like that? Where is it going?